Peace and blessings, guys. Peace and blessings, Mark the Messenger. We are back on our video. A lot of people have been asking me to make a video on spirit spouses and spirit wives, spirit husbands. And at the end of this video, guys, I'm going to give you guys solutions on how to overcome these demons because that's exactly what it is. We got to call it what it is. Yes, they could call it a spirit spouse, spirit husband, spirit wife, but let's just call it what it is. And it's demons, demonic spirits working against you. What do demons do, guys? What is the main thing of a demon? To distract you from your purpose on God and to make you not elevate in the kingdom of God, to have you being stuck. So if you leveling up in the kingdom of God, just have you stuck right here and maybe not even seeking the kingdom of God, which is one of the signs I'm going to go over. Let's go. Let's go. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. Number one, okay? You can't wait to fall asleep. You can't wait to fall asleep because it's a temporary escape of your life, the miserable life that you're living. And when you're living and when you're in your dreams, you, you have the assessment of illusion that, you know, because you have your husband, your wife in, in the dream, which is an incubus, a succubus, a demon, okay? And understand this, guys, that miserable life, that's a life of sin, that is a life of, where you're expecting, you can't wait to have sex with, uh, or you can't wait to interact with your spirit wife, demon, you, get, you can't wait to interact with the demon, that is miserable, guys, okay? Always understand that when you can't wait to fall asleep because you can't wait to have sex in your dreams, understand that is a sign that you have a spirit uh, spouse. Back in the days, guys, back when I didn't know anything about spiritual warfare, didn't know anything about demons or anything like that, guys, I was I couldn't wait to go to sleep. I couldn't wait to... I would get mad when I would, I'd wake up. I would get mad. <laughs> I would get mad, which is number two, I believe. Oh, no, no, no. That's not the number two, but number two. Let's get with number two. You wake up a rouse. You wake up for a female... Y'all know, okay? Or you're a man, you know. You Now, sometimes for a man, when you wake up aroused, it could just be, they call it morning wood. That just means your testosterone is going up. So not every time you're aroused, but you know when it's just kind of like, what the heck? Okay, that could be a sign, just a sign of a spirit spouse. Okay, always understand that when you wake up aroused, and, and especially in that dream, you had like a lustful, you know, sexual dream, then that's a sign that's a spirit, a spirit spouse. Because like I said, sometimes us men... You might be going to the gym a lot, eating healthy. It might, you know, that's just normal. So not all the time. It's just you got to understand if you have a sexual dream prior to that, that's the sign of that you're uh, a spirit spouse. Okay, number three, you have a wet dream uh, slash intercourse with a, de a demon. I just made a video yesterday talking about, I'll leave it at the end screen, talking about how sexual dreams are demonic attacks. Okay, so when you have a wet dream, that is a sign of a spirit spouse or that could be a sign of just like a demon trying to latch onto you. So it's not always a spirit spouse. It, 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 it can be a spirit spouse, but it also could be just a sign of a demon trying to latch onto you to feed off your energy, to feed off your soul, and to drain you. Because that's what demons do to you guys. They drain you of energy. All right, number four is you get angry when you wake up. Like I was saying earlier, when I was younger, like I think I was like, it was like four years ago, like 25 or something like that. And I remember, like, I, I didn't, like I said, I didn't know anything about spiritual warfare. I didn't know anything about that. And I remember when I would wake up, like, I would get mad. I would get angry because I went in that dreams. Everything was feeling good, you know. Um, I thought I was married. In the dream realm, I thought I was married, okay. And like I said, guys, some of us, oh, no, we don't even know. In the spirit realm, we're, we, we're, we're married to demons, guys. Yes, yes. That's, I'm, I said, that's what the spirit spouse is. I'm going to go in. And oh, I'm going to go in in this video, guys. I'm telling you, man, this is things that I wish I knew. That's why I'm going to expose it, okay? All right, so yeah, when you get angry when you wake up, because like, you know, you and that whatever was happening in the dreams, you guys felt good, that is a red flag, guys. And like I said, at the end of this video, I'm going to give you guys solutions on how to set free from these demons. Okay, number five is you feel like masturbating all the time and also you struggle or it, you fall into sexual immorality more often, okay? So if you feel like masturbating all the time, guys, that is a sign because when you're, especially if you're masturbating, you're thinking about that. You're thinking about that time you had that dream, whatever that female was or that man was in that dream. Okay. So this is a sign you have a spirit spouse, guys. Now, like I said, all the time, it's not all the time. Some people just have, are just plagued with the spirit of lust where they got to keep on doing that. So it's not always a spirit spouse when you're always masturbating. But sometimes guys, if you feel, you feel like you're doing, like I say, if you don't do it no more, but all of a sudden you have that urge to just do it a lot of times, guys. It could be a sign of a spirit spouse. Let's believe that, okay? Uh, number six is it's difficult to make love to your partner, okay? It still has attractions. A lot of times, guys, you, you, if you go like on, like I've been watching videos like of uh, marriages, like, you know, 10, 10, 15 years, and like the person will be like, uh, I don't, I'm not, they're not attracted to their partner anymore. And it was talk about how they had a spirit spouse. So that could cause it, guys. If you're not attracted to your husband or your wife no more, 
It could be a sign of a spirit spouse or your boyfriend or girlfriend. That could, that could be a sign of a spirit spouse. A spirit spouse doesn't want you, like I guess I'm going to go in this video, but it's putting a short in that number. A spirit spouse doesn't want you to leave them. They want you They want you tied to them, okay? They don't want to, you to be with your wife or your your husband that got, that got ordained, okay? They want you to be with them. So that's what happened. It'll, it'll make it difficult to, for you to love your partner. And it, it, one thing about a spirit spouse, too, not all the time, but it leads you to more sexual morality, like more than you ever had, a, uh, ever felt the need to do it. That's a sign of a spirit spouse. All right, number seven correlates to number six. You will deny marriage, okay? Some people, they feel like, oh, I don't want to get married. Uh, and in these last days, guys, I believe that it's good to be married because the Bible says that two is better than one, okay? Um, now, some people are... The Bible does say in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 7, the man who's unmarried does better than the man who's married. So if you want to use your body for the Lord, then there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not condemning you or nothing like that. Continue to do that. If you feel like, you know, I'm just, that's not always a sign. Because let's say there, there are some people, like I said, Paul in the Bible didn't have a wife. Um, Jesus didn't have a wife. Okay, so it's okay for you not to want to have, uh, be married. Let's say if you don't fall into sexual morality. I have a video about this, like, um... If you don't fall into sexual immorality, it's just better just to stay single. Like, if you feel like you're strong enough, then there's nothing wrong with that. But in these last days, like I was saying, the Bible does say that two are better than one. Um, let's say if you're struggling, you have one to pick up your brother. You have one to or pick up your sister. You, have, you know, it's always good to have, you know, the next person next to you on the side with you. Okay, so, but some people, guys, they want to get married. They struggle with sexual immorality. They struggle with uh, sexual sins, and they're still denying marriage. They didn't want to get married. Let's say God sent them their husband or God sent them their wife, and they denied it because they already have that uh, spiritual, uh, that spiritual spouse, that demon in the spiritual realm that's giving them, you know, what they, the affection, that whatever, you know, the affection, the attention in their dreams. So they feel like, I don't need to get married because they're already married to that demon. So don't be fooled, guys. Don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. Okay, always understand that. When you know you want to get married, you know you want to be fruitful and multiply, you know you want to have children, stuff like that, but you're still denying marriage, that could be a sign of a spirit spouse. Okay, number eight, make men more like women and women more like men. Okay, the reason why it makes uh, men more like women and women more like men, because when you're giving in to your lust, when you're giving in to your sexual uh, uh, sins, you're, you're burning in lust, that's what it does. That's what it does. It feminizes a man and it masculinizes a woman, okay? especially when you have a spirit spouse which is giving into your lust. So always understand that the man will become like woman and the woman will become like man. Look at the world today, guys. A lot of men, when you look them in the face, they don't, they lack masculine energy. A lot of these, a lot of these sisters, they lack feminine energy. They lack, they lack that. Okay. And that's a sign. Now it's not always that. It could be the food they eat. It could be the drugs, uh, the excessive alcohol. So it's not only just a, a sexual or not only just a spirit spouse, but that could be a sign too, guys. Look at the, a lot of these men guys today, they look like women. Okay, they look like they're lack lacking masculine energy. And like I said, the woman too, they look like they're lacking feminine energy. They want to be men. The woman want to be men. The, the, the woman, the men want to be women. That's just the age we're living in. Number nine is make wives disrespect and not submit to their husband. Okay. This is a sign, guys. I've been, I was watching a video too. And a woman, she said that, you know, she didn't want to submit to her husband because she was dealing with her spirit uh, husband. Okay, in the spirit realm, that demon. And what do demons do, guys? They want to destroy your marriage. They want to destroy your life. That's just what it is. Okay. That's just what it really sent her down to, destroying your life. So that's what a spirit spouse will do, guys. It will make you, uh, you know, disrespect your husband, not want to submit to your husband because you're submitted to your, and the Bible says you can't serve two masters. So how can you serve your husband, and the, your actual husband, and that's to serve your, you know, your spirit husband. So that's why we must get deliverance. Like I said, at the end of this video, I'm going to give you a solution, the main solution, how to break free from these demons, guys. If, you, if you're married, your sister who's married, and you find it hard to submit to your husband, you disrespect your husband, Okay, that could be a sign of a spirit uh, husband you already have, guys. All right. Number 10 is you won't have a desire to seek for the kingdom of God. Okay, you won't have a desire to seek for the kingdom of God. Why is that, guys? Because like I said, what do demons do? They want to destroy your life. They don't want you to reach your, what you're calling, what God has for your life. They don't want to do that. So they'll come in your life to plant seeds because that's all what sin is. They plant seeds in your mind. The more seeds that water is inside you, the more sin you're going to you know, grow. And that's what that's the whole agenda of a spirit spouse. So always understand that. You will, if, you have, if you don't have the desire in you to seek the kingdom of God, okay, and you're having these wet dreams, you're living in lavish lust and all that, guys, always understand that that could be a sign of a spirit of spouse, guys, when you don't have the desire to seek the kingdom. I put Yah, which means God. We you know how to desire to seek the kingdom of God. So always understand that, man. Always understand that, that we don't battle against flesh and blood. We battle against principalities, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Okay. So 
we must acknowledge you go on twitter you go on social media people like they they tweet about laughing about oh i had a sexual dream uh i'm mad I'm, i woke up they're unaware they're lacking understanding they're lacking wisdom that it's a demon they're having sex with a lot of people don't realize that guys it's, it is demons okay so these are 10 signs of a spiritual spouse um let's give you guys a solution before i go over the summer okay a solution guys I put it right here. It's James chapter four, verse seven to eight. It says, submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Okay. These, all these demonic forces, all these demonic spirits, they will flee from you when you submit to God. Now, like I said, it's going to be a war because when the devil can't get you in the physical realm, he must now attack you in your dreams. Okay. He's like, cause he's a coward. Yeah. Attacking your dreams, but eventually he has to stop. When you're submitted to God, when the devil sees you're not giving into the urges, you're not giving into the demonic thoughts, you're not giving into your desires, your lustful desires. When the devil sees that, eventually he has to leave you alone and he's to get someone else who's who's vulnerable, someone else who's submit not submitting to God. Okay, because he sees that. Why would he waste his time? Just like when he tried to tempt Jesus in the desert, why would why when he already tempted him and uh, Jesus didn't fall for it? Why would he continue wasting time? He's to go get someone else because <laughs> Jesus wasn't falling for it. All right, I'm gonna go with someone else, someone else who's not uh, submitted to the Most High God. Okay, so always understand that, guys. Submit yourself, therefore, to God. Resist the devil and flee. And also, guys, repent. Repent from your sins. Maybe do some fast. Pray. Ask God for deliverance. Okay, you know, pray for deliverance. You know, and guys, always make sure you're seeking the Father more than you're seeking men. You're seeking the Father more than you're seeking a YouTube content creator. I always told you guys this. More than you're seeking your pastor. These pastors, me, these content creators, uh, messengers, prophets, they can't deliver you. The, who wants you to deliver from is God. That's who you want to seek. Okay. And that's, that's free. You don't have to go on. You don't have to go to a church. You don't have to watch a YouTube video, guys. I, I, I keep it real, bro. If you guys want delivered, make sure, cause that's what a lot of sheep do. A lot of these sheep, I know there's a lot of these sheep, cause I'm a shepherd. So I, I can see, I understand the sheep. Okay. What a sheep, I keep it real, bro. I keep it real. These sheep, okay. They're simple minded. They, they look for other people to help them. And there's nothing wrong because, like I said, God does have prophets. He does have uh, messengers. He does have pastors. There's nothing wrong with that. But make sure you're seeking the Father first, guys. Make sure you're seeking deliverance through Him, the Son, Jesus Christ. Always understand that He has the power to set you free from all of these demons, all these demonic spirits, and He'll restore you. Okay, so always understand that. This is all, I'm planning to see it in this in you guys. Now, that I want you guys to apply your works through your faith to ask the Father for deliverance too. So always understand that. Submit yourself therefore to God, for this is the devil, and he shall flee from you. All right, quick summary, guys. Number one is you can't wait to fall asleep. Number two is you wake up aroused. Number three is you have wet dreams and you have sex with a demon. Number four is you get angry when you wake up. Number five is you feel like masturbating all the time and you, you've fallen into more to sexual immorality. Number six is it's difficult to make love to your partner. It still is attraction. Number seven is you will deny marriage. Number eight is make men more like women and women more like men. Number nine is make wives disrespect and not just submit to their husband. Number 10 is you won't have a desire to seek the kingdom of God, the kingdom of God. And I uh, hope you guys learned some of this video. If you haven't already, smash the like button, share this video on all social media platforms and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you guys wish to support me, my links are down below in the description. Check out this end screen too. It goes and more correlates with this video. I love you guys so much. I am out. Peace.